And just like this, guys, I've made over $600 today doing this, and I'm going to be doing this live in front of you. What's going on, awesome people of YouTube? Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can copy this and earn $100 every 15 minutes. Now, you can do this again and again as many times as you'd like, and this is 100% working. This is a very new way that I'm starting to talk about of how to make money online on my YouTube channel. I've only made two videos on this strategy in the past. So this is my third video on this and I'm getting to do this live in front of you. I'm going to make a hundred dollars right here on my tablet in front of your face. So you can follow this with me and do the same. I'm not going to hide or cut out anything in editing. I'm going to record it as is and you will see everything live. Now, this is not some clickbait title just to try and get you to click on the video. I'm actually, like I said, going to do this live in front of you and show you all my profits and earnings from this. This is not affiliate marketing. This is not drop shipping, not drop servicing. This is not creating articles. It's not CPA marketing. It's not YouTube or YouTube shorts, not surveys and tasks. There's no cryptocurrency or Bitcoin involved. And this is not freelance work on Fiverr or Upwork or any of those platforms. Now, I honestly believe that this type of investment can pay better than a property investment. It's absolutely crazy. And I actually used to always be against it. And I never liked it, never tried it until one day I decided to get out of my comfort zone and I actually tried it. And now it's about to become my biggest full time income stream. Now, I want you to comment down below what you think it is. Leave a comment, leave a like, make sure you subscribe to receive more videos like this. And if you get it right, I'll choose a lucky person at the comments down below in tomorrow's video for a $30 giveaway. So comment down below what you think I'm talking about in today's video. So without further ado, let's get straight into my PC on the first step. So step number one is we're going to come over to this website over here called tickmill.com. Now this is a trading broker where you can trade over 62 currency pairs, including majors, minors, and exotics with ultra low spreads and fast execution. You can also trade stocks, indices, and oils, metals, bonds, um, and all sorts of cryptocurrencies as well, but we're not going to be trading cryptocurrency. Now, the reason why I'm going to be talking about this website in today's video is because we are going to trade with a very specific strategy that I've learned in quite a couple of courses that I've bought online. And I'm going to show you this for free on YouTube. And I'm going to show you how I literally make a hundred dollars a day in 10, 15 minutes using the strategy while never making a loss. So over here, uh, the first thing you want to do is, is come over to tickmill.com. You want to scroll down and you want to look for the pro accounts over here. It's completely free to sign up. There's no monthly membership. There's no free trial. It's free forever. The reason why you want to choose the pro account is because if you have a look here, spreads from 0.0, .0 pips. This means the company takes zero commissions off of your trades. Now, usually when you trade, some companies take big commissions. So if you place a trade, you've got to wait a while for the market to go up or down before you even break even as that is all the profit the company takes. So now, obviously, that leaves less money left over for you. So this is why I'm introducing Tickmill is because they actually have a zero spread, meaning they take zero commissions, meaning you can make more money from trading as all those commissions that would go to the company now go to you. So you're going to click on create an account over here. Um, it will take you to this next page over here where you just need to complete the registration form, your country, English, uh, preferred language, uh, your client type, you're going to choose individual, your title, first name, last name, your number, email, confirm your email, and the entity, you just leave that as it already selected. Um, now, I have had a couple of DMs or comments of people from the US telling me that Tickmill is not supported in the US for some unknown reason. So what you can go and do is you can also go and use this alternative broker over here called OctaFX.com. Exact same thing, just another Forex broker with a really good spread. Um, and you just create an account over here. Now you do need to submit one or two documents such as your ID and your proof of address to verify your account. And then once that is done, Tickmill will send you specific login details. Then what you'll do is you will take the login details that Tickmill or OctaFX send you. It's a digital, it's a digital number and a password that you sign into the Meta5 trading platform. So the Meta5 app is the official app where we trade on the markets. Now, Tickmill is just our broker where we deposit and withdraw our profits and funds. So MetaTrader 5, you can go download for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Google Play Store and Apple App Store. I only trade on the mobile app as I like to trade on the go of my phone or iPad. I don't usually like to trade with the desktop app. So you can click on App Store or the Google Play Store. I'm going to log onto my iPad now and I'm going to show you the strategy and make this hundred dollars for you live. So that is step number two. Go and install MetaTrader, which I'll show you how to do now. 
Step number three is before we log onto my iPad, we want to come over to tradingview.com. Now this is where I'm gonna show you how to analyze the market properly before we go and place trade. So tradingview.com is basically a app where we can view the charts of the different markets, analyze, draw, draw different specifics, boxes, you name it. Um, so over here you can see right now, this right here is the chart for the United States dollar and Japanese yen pair. Now, I want you to take a look at how the strategy works. The first thing you wanna do is, you wanna go and put the graph on an hour mark uh, over here. And you want to more or less get a general trend of this chart. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take my pen over here. So there's three strategies we're gonna use. We're gonna use major swing level, we're going to use order block strategy and the RSI indicator to back all of this up. And every time I use this and confirm it, I've made profits every time. So I'm gonna show you over here. This is how the major swing level works. This is the first thing you need to do. I'm gonna click on the pen over here and click on brush. You first want to identify if this market is an upward or a downward trend. If it's an upward trend, you want to draw a line at the lowest point which would be over here. If it's a downward trend, you would draw the line at the highest point. So since this is an upward trend, we're gonna draw a line at the lowest point. You wanna zoom in on the chart and you wanna draw a line all the way up to the top of the chart before it swings back to the other direction. So here you can see the market goes up, goes up, goes up, but it swings back down over here. So here would be a major swing level. We're gonna draw a line there. Now same thing, we're gonna draw a line downwards until the market swings the other direction. So over here, you can see, goes down, goes down, and all the way back up. Here would be our next major swing level. Same thing over here, all the way back up, before the market turns all the way back down over here. All the way back up to the top over here before the market swings back down. All the way back up, back down. All the way back down, and back to the top. Now, if you take a look at this, you want to take the bottom line of every swing level, not the top lines. Now, you can see here's a bottom line, here's a bottom line, here's another line over here, another one over here, and another one over here. Now, this is a major swing level. If these bottom lines are above each other, if each, if the next bottom line is above the previous line, that means this market is going towards an upward trend. So over here, you can see the market is coming back down, but this is at the top of a major swing level. So this came back down a bit, maybe come to over here, and this might go up backwards over here. As you can see over here, it's shooting back up. This is because the market is at an entire upward trend, but this is what you call a major swing level. So now what you would do is, I'm assuming a lot of people would maybe want to place a sell here to get some, to predict the market going down, but according to a major swing level, this market is going to go up. So I would place a buy but I'm not confident enough yet. What we're gonna go and do is, we're gonna confirm this with an order block. This is how this works. I just wanna quickly clear the graph. So here you can see, if I zoom in on this chart to the 13 minute chart, and we can also use the 15 minute chart and the five minute chart, and even the one hour chart as well. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stay on the 30, uh, the 30 minute chart over here. Now this is how an order block works. Let me show you an example of one. If you follow my mouse on the screen over here, this is a perfect order block. So let me quickly get my brush. If you have a look at this red candle over here, okay. Now, an order block basically works like this. This red candle was bigger than this previous green candle. And if the next candle that forms is also red, provided that the previous red candle is bigger than that previous green candle, that means you would place a sell over here and the market is gonna go down. Like you saw, you could have caught all these pips over here. And what you do is you use order blocks on top of the major swing level. So if I zoom out and take a look at the trend of this graph, you can see we're at the top of a major swing level. So this should go down according to a major swing level. And this order block that formed over here also told me that this market was gonna go down. And if you have a look at the RSI over here, you can see this RSI um, indicator here where it says RSI 14 close. You've got a whole separate little graph over here that says 70 and 30. Now, if this line graph is closer towards 70, that means the odds of the market coming back down is pretty good. So yeah, you can see here where this market was high up here, um, the, the RSI was quite high, which means the it's an indicator that the market is gonna come back down very soon, which it did. 
so RSI backed this up, an order block formed, and major swing levels said this was going to go down. So if you combine those three things, you can see over here, this market is predicted. So take a look at this order block forming right now actually on the live markets. So if you take a look here, this green candle is bigger than this red candle. The second candle, it's gone a little bit red. If this second candle starts to form green again, like it is now, you place a buy because this market is now going to go back up. And it's the same according to major swing level. Take a look at this. If I draw high point, low point, high point, low point, high point, low point. This is now another high point because it's forming, which it is doing according to the, the major swing level over here. And an order block for a buy is forming. And the RSI also quite low over here. So this would be a perfect time to go and buy. So now that you understand how this works, if you don't understand, comment down below, follow me on Instagram and I'll help you out over there. But basically in a nutshell, an order block is if this green candle is bigger than this previous red candle. And it's the same with red candles as well. If the green candle is bigger than the previous red candle, and the next candle that forms is also green like this one, it's a buy. So you'll place your buy over here. Now this market's going to go up. Same thing with a sell. This red candle, bigger than this previous green candle, over here, as soon as this red candle forms red, that's a sell. So you can do it with buys and sells. So let's go and lock onto my iPad and go and trade live using this strategy. So we're now inside of my iPad and over here you can see we logged into my live Tickmill account where I've deposited just over $400 into this account to show you how to make $100 a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the charts over here. So here you can see we're now on my iPad and we're on the charts, the live charts over here like we saw on Trading Viewer. And now we can go and use this for any Forex pair. I prefer to use the strategy that I'm going to show you with Forex because I find that I get the most success with that. Now I'll take a look at this over here already. This is actually a very good example. You can see this market had an upwards trend over here then it seems to go down a little bit over here. Now take a look at this little section over here where the market absolutely shot up. Firstly, this was at the bottom of a major swing level. You can see this was all the way down at a major swing level and an order block formed over here. This green candle was slightly bigger than this red candle. As soon as this second green candle formed green over here, you would have placed your buy and you would have caught all these profits and pips over here. And if you have a look at RSI, which is this point over here, was all the way down at 30, indicating that the market is definitely going to go up. So there were three things that backed up this buy. Order block, major swing level and RSI. So you replace your buy over here. So let's go and look for a market to go and do this live and make our hundred dollars live. So I'm just going to go through out multiple Forex trading pairs over here. Yeah, you can see there's um, Swiss franc, Japanese yen. There's no real order block forming here right now. Okay, there's one that's maybe formed on the 30 minute charts. If I go all the way left over here, uh, you can see over here, this is an order block that is busy formed, but um, I'm not going to place a buy now as I feel like the major swing level is kind of, it's very plateaued here. This major swing level is more or less in the middle. So the RSI is also very centered over here. So although there's an order block forming, like this, this green candle is bigger than this previous red candle and the second candle over here is green. There's no real major swing level. You can see it's just pretty much in the middle. RSI is also at 50. So I'm not confident enough to trade this as the major swing level and the RSI doesn't back up the order block. It's so important that all three of these back each other up. So let's go and look for another market. Let's go and use uh, Euro versus pound sterling over here. Let me just scroll all the way to the end of the chart. Um, and take a look at this. Let me come over to the 15 minute chart. Here you can see right now, if I zoom out on this chart, we've got a bit of a downward trend and back towards an upward trend over here. So here you can see this would be the top of the chart, back down, top of the major swing level, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom over here, the top, the bottom over here. And this looks like it could be the top over here. So according to major swing level, this should be a sell, but there's no order block forming that has confirmed the sell. So the other one over here was a little bit of an order block. You can see this red candle was bigger than this previous green candle. Could have sold here and caught some extra easy pips and profits over here. But right here you can see this red candle is forming, but it's not bigger than the previous green candle. So again, although the major swing level is at a high, RSI is at a high at 70. 
there's no real order block that is formed to confirm the sell for me. Therefore, I'm not confident enough to trade this. So let me move on. Let's go and use Euro versus Japanese Yen over here. Same thing over here. No order block has formed. You can see none of these red candles are bigger than the previous green candle. There's no order block that's formed. So let's go and continue with maybe Great British Pound versus the Canadian dollar. Over here on USD CHF as well, no real order blocks or major swing level that really indicates the perfect buy or sell yet. So what we do is, again, we just move on to the next market. Let's go and use USD Japanese Yen over here. You can see right now, uh, this looks like the bottom of a major swing level. And let's take a look if any order blocks form. So right now you can see if this order block over here is busy forming, this green block is bigger than this previous red candle. If this little red candle over here starts to form green, then we know we can go and place a buy. Firstly, the RSI is more or less lower towards 30 over here. And this is more towards the bottom end of a major swing level, showing that the market, have a look more, is going to go up a little bit more. So over here, if we have a look, all we're going to do is we're going to give it a few minutes and see if this red candle forms green. So right now, this candle over here has formed green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place two buys with an execution of two or with a volume or lot size of two. And over here, you can see about five minutes later, we're already into $47 profit. So wait, let's wait a little bit more for the market to go up until we hit $100. What I did was the market came back down a little bit and saw another opportunity to place a buy. But yeah, you can see market is starting to push up as we predicted and I'm already in profits over here. As you can see over here, I'm now at $105 profit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close all of my positions and take profits over here. Let's close position number two and we're just gonna close our third trade over here. And I think we actually made, um, if I quickly come over to my history, I'll show you now. And we made just over $140 with this short little trade over here. Yeah, you can see this market is still pushing up as we predicted according to major swing level and order block. So guys, like I showed you and promised you, I made just over $140 live in this video. And then how this works is how you withdraw this is, these funds would appear in your Tickmill account. You click withdraw on your um, Tickmill dashboard over here. When you log in, you've got what you call a login over here, and then your funds will appear there. You just click withdraw and it pays straight to your bank account and it does the conversion for you. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a playlist over here with two other strategies that I also did this made money live doing this on YouTube. So if you want to get even better insight into how I do this, you can go and click on this playlist over here. It will really help you out with becoming a successful trader. So make sure to go and click on this playlist over here and I'll see you over there.